100 days since the executive mayor of Ekuruleni Council and Swantile Masina has been in office. The mayor has since outlined several programs that will be implemented by his administration. He joins us this morning in a studio here in Johannesburg to talk about progress thus far. Good morning to you and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, good morning, my sister. Thank you so much for, for your time. So I've been reading. Hello, Peter Sela, Ubizi. You, you're very busy. Talk to us about what you've been doing. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, we are really trying to pull together a pro poor program uh, that focuses on uh, advancing the issues of the community. We are basically trying to come up with strategies to respond on the spot. Uh, many of the challenges that are, being, uh, that are facing our communities, you know, uh, if there's a pothole, if there's a sewer, if there is a, a, a robot that is not working, we are trying to come up with strategies to solve it on the spot. Uh, so far, so good. Um, we must actually thank the people of Egoruleni for positively responding and working with us because we can never know all the challenges as and when they report them through our call centers, uh, through our social media and other platforms, we are able to send our teams of professionals to respond to those issues. Uh, so far it has been working very good. I know that there are many other areas we have not touched. We have since launched a program called Siakuba Friday where I personally together with the team uh, are going on the ground to communities and resolve problems. Uh, we, we have been to a couple of wards. We, we, we plan to go to all the wards over the next five years, mm -hmm. uh, solving different challenges that are, uh, that are pertinent to communities. And I believe many challenges are uh, relating to savings delivery. And yes, those are practical problems that you can actually attend to. Yes, uh, those are practical pro uh, problems we're attending to service delivery related because you don't want uh, communities to stay longer with uh, a sewer that is uh, uh, up there and uh, if we can resolve it. So we want to continuously call upon our communities to report those issues. Uh, those that have interacted with our systems, uh, they will tell you uh, that uh, the response time has improved significantly, you know. Uh, if there is any challenge that we face or we hear about, uh, there is a team ready of contractors, of uh, uh, senior officials that is dealing with those uh, problems on the spot. All right. Now, besides the, the Siakoba Friday, uh, Mayor, what are the most biggest priorities that your administration had set? Well, uh, the, I think the issue of housing uh, is at the center of what we are trying to do. We have committed uh, that over the next five years we'll build about 100,000 units of houses to try and deal with the 1996 backlog. Uh, but also because we know we are not going to be able to build houses for everybody, we are making available, we are busy uh, buying pieces of land to make available about uh, 59,000 services stands uh, wherein there's going to be uh, sewer, water, uh, toilets, and then we're able to give title deeds so that citizens can build uh, homes for themselves. So those are the things that we are basically focusing on. Mm. Uh, but over and above that, we are now rolling out a program to electrify all the informal settlements and ensure that they, uh, we create livable conditions because uh, it will be a dream for us to say we'll eradicate informal settlements. They are here to stay as a feature, but we must make sure that the conditions there are such that are livable for, for our communities. All right. So are you formalizing them in a way? Well, we are formalizing them and we are ensuring that uh, we are putting in social amenities uh, for our citizens. But over and above that, there are other economic uh, development programs that we are embark embarking upon. We have since launched what we call the 10-point plan, uh, basically focusing on um, revitalizing the ailing manufacturing. As you can see from the statistics, uh, there is much improvement now in our manufacturing sector. Uh, we are working with the provincial and national government on some of the areas. And um, uh, I think the issue of uh, using our strategic location and the availability of land uh, to bring about investment. I've recently uh, did a short turning for a 500 million rand uh, worth of project uh, Twin Saver in, in the region. Uh, and we continue uh, accepting uh, different uh, sources of investment, which in our view will uh, help us generate employment that we so need because the issue of unemployment, especially amongst young people, is quite prevalent in our region. All right. Now, let's just go back to the issue of your housing because it's, it's a very crucial one. You have up to date distributed a total of 147 days before your 100 days in office. Uh, talk to us about your target. Well, uh, we are targeting about uh, 292 houses over the next 100 days to be given to the rightful owners. Uh, that's a lo lot of process, but linked to that is also the issue of the title deeds. We're targeting about uh, 208. 80 title deeds to be given. So far we've given about 147 houses uh, 
to our people will do the remaining houses in different uh, areas in the region. We've uh, distributed about 70 of the title deeds. We are in position of about 11,000 uh, title deeds, but you know the, the, the complexities of the title deeds that you don't just dish it out. You must find the right person. Sometimes you find that parents have died, uh, the children are remaining, so we need legal process to ensue so that uh, you are able to do proper transfer. So that process, it can sound as if it's easy. You just take from the title deed, you take the document, you give it to citizens. It doesn't work like that. You have to make sure that you give the title deed to the, right, to, to the rightful owner. We are embarking on that process. Uh, I hope that by the end of the administration, all the 11,000 title deeds in our position would have been distributed. There is a long way, but certainly there is hope as well. October is Oar Tambo month. Talk to us quickly about the programs that your municipality has. No, thank you very much. We've got a number of activities planned for the OR Tambo month, uh, starting with the games. Uh, there will be a choral uh, music festival uh, as usual. Uh, we're going to have the riddling ceremony. Uh, I'm aware that the President of the Republic will be coming to join us and we'll have a number of other activities in the area. So we're excited uh, so far that um, things are coming up to, to speed. Uh, you know that uh, this year Oliver Tambo would have 1099 years. All the things we are doing this year is in preparation of the centenary of O.R. Tambo, who is the longest serving president uh, of the African National Congress. And we remain inspired by his vision to keep the nation uh, 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 together. And uh, we want to call upon the people of Eguruleni, the people of South Africa, and all other strategic areas uh, to work with us as we pull together this particular program. We are in collaboration with the foundation. We have met with them. Uh, to launch a number of these activities, including the lecture, including the debate from students and so on. So these are the things that are planned for the or Tambo month. All right. No. Relebila Hulu can go 100 days are we yet the next month in November? Yes, uh, towards the all end right. of the November we'll be able to give report to the yeah. citizens about all the things that we've been able to do. But uh, after that, we are then going to be able to announce our plan for the year and the plan for the next five years because we oh. have been able to pull together our plans as a city. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Palis. you so much. There you have it. That's the Ekurulene Executive Mayor. Mzwantile uh, Masila talking to us about the progress that his administration has achieved thus far. Morning Life takes a break. Don't go away.